Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space College Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wild of space. And last time we spent most of our time trying to get our research reactor up and working, but unfortunately, as we were getting on to the last steps and starting to think about how we're going to uh, vacuum this area out and stop our research reactor from exploding, we had another asteroid that was starting to implode. Yes, indeed, all the power... Oh, I, I haven't done this. Uh, I, I managed to roll back half a day here, so let's put that back in place. Uh, we, we have a bit of a problem here where we are running out of power everywhere. And why are we running out of power? We're out of coal. We're, we're literally just out of coal. We don't we don't have any more to be delivered. There's uh, We used to feed stone to our stone hatches which would then poop out a bit of coal and we burn it but unfortunately our power demands have become increasingly more uh, extravagant are uh, you the person coming along to drop this stuff here uh, the thing that I'm worried about is you've just picked up some some rather hot glass 300 degree glass that would turn anything other than petroleum into uh, into its gaseous state so thankfully we've managed to get through there uh, at the right time the unfortunate bit is is the boar is now holding a 300 degree item I'm not sure where he's taking it. Shall we, shall we do that? Anyway, I, I need to solve the power issue. And the way that we're going to solve the power issue, where are you taking it? I think you're taking it up to the uh, the teleport device over here, uh, is to move something from Iregao. This whole setup here makes itself some ethanol. Uh, the ethanol gets put into a petroleum generator. I know. Why is it not an ethanol dis uh, generator? Uh, makes uh, itself some carbon dioxide, which gets converted into polluted oxygen, uh, polluted water, sorry, and all also spits out polluted water which we feed to arbitraries which the pips then eat producing some wood which feeds back into the ethanol distiller it's a nice closed cycle of power uh, and we, we also get an, an ungodly and unmanageable amount of hydrogen out of the top here this has currently got 48 kilos of hydrogen inside of it and that that's what i intend to be powering our system with you know i'm gonna just let this be built in the background whilst we're doing that uh, and to be able to get this over here it, it's actually going to be a little bit of a uh, convoluted way. Uh, first, I want to kind of encourage a little bit of building over here. If we go food, uh, hydroponic tile, I want to put one there. I want to leave two tiles because we, the tree grows and then has branches either side. What's this? Scolding, Kelvin. Ah, you're moving the glass as well. You know what? I'm just going to stop people going in there for a little bit. Let's, let, let's, let's make that happen. Uh, like I say, I want two tiles either side for uh, branches to grow and then we're we gonna have to do the same with this one uh then i would need another hydroponic farm here one two one two okay so this is about the distance that i want uh my farm tiles spread out to be able to run uh, the the farm. Uh, we also then want this to be a pip ranch. So to do that, I'm going to come into food. Wait, no, it's uh, it's in stations. I, I I know where everything's kept. Uh, grooming station literally just goes one tile away from the uh, from the farm there, so that we can fit everything in. Uh, and that I think is the, uh, the 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 tightest we can fit this entire situation in. I'm tempted to move some some far, uh, some builders from over here Curie might be the, the one to go with uh, but before we can even handle that before we can even handle that we need to move some Arbor Acorns I assume I have some let's uh Acorn. Uh, yeah, we've got 44 units. Now, to move them, we're going to need to uh, uh, commandeer this system here. Now, this is full of fossils and poke shell and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to want to copy this out. Uh, let, let's get a copy of that built so that I can save the settings through this copy settings button. Copy it all over to the empty loader. Uh, empty this out. Try and get this uh, to, to empty. Can we, can we empty the stuff from here? We can't empty the storage from here, so we're going to have to fire a whole bunch of rad bolts through it to clear it out and then start uh, an arbor acorn if we if we could if get to an arbor acorn sent if we can do that i mean there is an arbor acorn in there it was obviously a thing i tried to send at some point okay copy the settings over remove all the settings the easiest way to do that is come up to the top click all and then they'll close everything out and then somewhere in here we've got seeds arbor acorn uh, so, so, someone will come along and put that in there, no doubt. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to uh, rush 
this through. So someone needs to come along and manually create a whole bunch of rad bolts. Uh, should be Hubble. And thankfully, we've got like all the enriched uranium we need. Why are you there? I thought we killed. Uh, the, I thought we dealt with you. I don't. I don't kill here. We we deal with things. Yes, deal with things. Thankfully, Chandra should just be along to to deal with that. Right? Is that is that a thing that just happens? We've got a whole bunch of people coming in for combat. Where where were you going? Okay, so no no more bees to worry about there. Uh, because we've got all the bees down here. There's so many bees down here with so much uranium. Uh, the, the bees come along and pick up the uranium ore from the ground without any losses. If our duplicates did it, they'd lose half of it in the digging process uh, and deliver it to the beta hive where it can be uh, converted into enriched uranium, a process that I also do less efficiently with duplicates. So oh, there it goes. Uh, so it's much better for it to be going like that. Still, no one here. Oh, we're, we're breathing. I guess that's fine. Of course, the whole point of setting up the research reactor over here was to have a, uh, a store of rad bolts on hand, but uh, we're not there yet, and we need to do this before we can do that. So we're, we're gonna we're gonna get them all sent out, and away that goes. <laughs> I like the way, from my point of view, they're making rad bolts. Let's see what gets sent out here. But on on their little screen here, let's let's see when it goes back up. We're going to fabricate. Oh, oh come on, Chandra, if you if you could do this please that would be great fabricated depleted uranium i mean technically yeah i suppose that is what i'm making but i i want i want the rad bolts not the uranium <laughs> Just a couple of bros working out together. Of course, I've had to, like, speed up this process. They've got to get rid of all the fossil before we're going to get down to the Arbor Acorn. It's already been a day or two, so uh, shifting all this stuff as quick as possible definitely is not off the cards. People are getting a little bit stressed about it, though, just as they're all starting to uh, to chill out as well. That's a, that's a little bit unfortunate because it's definitely something we were getting on top of, and now, because of this, they're not. <laughs> Okay, this should be the last bit. Let's turn the priorities down on those. Is this not sending because of the minimum launch mass? It might be. It might be. Do we bring this down to 27 and then it should hopefully go there? 27. Let's see what, if that will launch there. Maybe 25. Let, let's give that a go. No. Okay. Okay, totally not... Um, Totally not manipulating red alert there to get that fired. Uh, most of the... Oh, no, we needed to get that maximum maxed out there. Uh, let's now look at the star map. Hopefully one of these... Oh, look at that. We've sent them all together. Half a cycle. One of them should be, as soon as the autosave is done, full of arbor acorns. Okay, brilliant. The, the rest is nice to be getting the fossil delivered, but the, okay, back to reverse, Lynn. Uh, everything looks to be going along fine. How are we doing with building this big old cable line around the outside that I've been trying to build? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. If we can get this built, then I can snip this line here, uh, and then the power spline goes all the way around the outside. Thankfully, the way the duplicants don't. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good good actually that means that nobody's exposed to heavy watt wire consistently uh, I'm going to uh, get these done Okay, cooperation and teamwork got that in place. I'm just gonna now deconstruct everything down here. Let's not. Let's let's actually deconstruct all power wires this way. I don't know whether it's gonna try and take out that joint plate or not, but uh, I feel like we could do. Uh, and in fact, let's do it. Let's deconstruct that one. Let's deconstruct this one, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll throw some tiles across there. Hydroponic tile will go just no, uh, just in place here. Okay, this this is the pit farm looking good right now actually uh, we could probably start moving some pips in there if we're feeling brave uh, I've just noticed that we don't have anywhere for the critter drop off maybe we'll pop it down the end here Lo losing or maybe even just here losing half a branch is not going to be the end of the world in fact it's going to be down the, the the bottom end uh so because the the, the drop off is something that happens rarely uh as opposed to the harvest which happens quite often so the we want the duplicates to not have to walk so far for the many times job you know this is going to be a problem i did not mean to put them over the top of the cooling system hmm 
Okay, so problems are definitely here at the moment in the form of trying to figure out how to reroute my cooling line here. If someone could come along and rip this down, that would be good. I think we could just move, shimmy this up this way and then over here. Uh, eventually, all this is probably going to get removed anyway, and we want to, like, turn this into a chill hydrogen place. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with this one step at a time, and this step right now involves trying to figure out how to get this coolant line to go up here and across here instead of where it is currently going. I got all excited moving my uh, Arbor Acorns. I forgot the other part of the plan, which of course was to put some sort of temporary power system in place to be able to keep this asteroid up and running uh, because uh, pla places are getting hot, but in particular this place over here. This this is now 56, 55 degrees. All of that temperature is starting to leak out. Uh, so we need to get... Um, I I'm going to get a petroleum generator up and running. Now, I'm not going to lie. The carbon Carbon dioxide coming out of here is going to be a bit of a problem. It will come down and filter into here. We've got a, a carbon skimmer on this side. We've also got a carbon skimmer over... I thought we had a carbon skimmer over here. Well, we'll, we'll, de we'll deal with it anyway. Uh, and thankfully, all that carbon dioxide we can turn into polluted water uh, via the magic of the carbon skimmer, uh, which will give us the polluted water to feed the arbor acorns, which I think we'll all agree is very important. The uh, other thing I need to do to make sure that we are getting petroleum is to uh, feed it up and in through here. Is that the right? I think that's the right way. I think that's the right way. Uh, let's uh, get that build happening as soon as possible. I mean, Curie would probably be on it pretty quick anyway but here comes von braun we've only got four people here now i should probably probably send franklin home at some point but she's a very integral part of the base right now oh wait wait i wait wait i'm a fool i'm an idiot this is not this is not the this is the input Ah, okay. Well, this one's going to be a little more interesting. Uh, I, I could, I could do this though. Bridge. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna take a bridge off of here, uh, off of here. Uh, that that's that's probably a bad place. We're gonna kill our pinch of pepper if we do it there. Uh, but there, there's always more ways. There's always more ways. I'll do it here and here and here, and that's bridged us across. Okay, insulated pipes, of course, because this is um. This is some warm liquids right here that we're moving around. Okay, over to there. Okay, that's that's much better, and we'll ask for that to get done right now. If you could, please. We could do with some, some petroleum being taken off. I'm not super happy with the fact that we are um, using a bridge here, because, of course, this bridge will take priority over the... Uh, the the, the standard pipe but hopefully that won't be too bad yeah we, we, we've got people scolding over here so we, we need to get this built pretty quick thankfully kelvin not the fastest builder so everyone's been able to come along and put down the uh, the insulated pipe before he managed to do to build that that's that's pretty cool how are we doing on this side we've got a bunch of unreachable builds Let's uh, deconstruct. Uh, no, maybe maybe deconstruction. That's not the way I want to do. Let's put another ladder segment in place here and maybe here. Much better, much better. Okay, good. Let, let's get all these built now. Okay, here we can see why I'm not overly fond of what we've done here. I would have preferred it to be a T-junction, but I suppose I could have put a bridge in here instead and uh, gone across sideways. You know what? I might very well do that anyway, even though this is now stopped, so we're, we're able to flow past. Okay, that, that's good. We'll, we'll take that. And over on reversal, Kelvin, are you still building that? They've built an entire transport network in the time it's taken you to just make this... Uh, oh, I, sh I shouldn't, shouldn't make it such high priority that way kelvin can run away and maybe franklin can come back and take his place something like that that definitely would have been better let's, let's speed this time up come on, come on my friend come on my friend no no he's done he's done for see i, I was kind of hoping that would happen if to be honest because here comes franklin let's also go and check on uh Irigal over here the stress is dropping that's that's good things could have been much much worse if i turn these back down no i should do so Okay, here comes the petrol. Scorching hot, hence why this kind of has to be a temporary fix. One of the many reasons why this has to be a temporary fix. Uh, and then this should start powering up. I've uh, given it a little bit of a... Oh, I forgot about the polluted water. Mm. You know, it's ridiculous that I forgot about it because it's one of the main products we're going to be using down here. 
I think we, I think we can deal with it though. I think we can deal with it. If I put a tile there, dig out all this, uh, rip this out and put down a pump, we could probably pump it, again, temporary solution, we'll have to come up with something better, down into our polluted water line here. Yes. Okay, for now I've just contained it. We'll, we'll come along and get rid of all this and we'll run a water line. Or maybe, maybe we'll use this water line and run it down here. Look, look at this. I've, I've spotted where we can run it. Look down this way, jump over, jump and in. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We can, we can make this work. We can make this work. Okay, and despite this not being a workable system yet, we've already got the cooling up and running again, which was kind of the important part, right? That's very, very important. This is just going to be continuously running for a little bit now. I wonder whether I can get um, a transformer right in here. I can. Beautiful. And this will then power the, the pump. Okay, this is nice. I'm going to try and drop. Let's uh, also in the plumbing get a liquid element sensor uh, and then I want a knock gate that way we're going to run the if not polluted water dump out all of the oil in this little hole that we've got here I, I don't know where how long this hole has been here or what it's used for or what but we're we're definitely making use of it right now okay with the last of the wires put in place we should now be able to start pumping liquids it's mostly crude oil which will go down and then as the uh, polluted water goes past there we go that, that's a beautiful little sorting system there I like that a lot are we going to be able to keep it all down here I actually Actually don't know let's uh, let's open this area up just a little bit more actually I want to dig order thanks very much and then maybe put down a ladder about there that that should that should also help greatly You're probably gonna need another ladder I, I think so somewhere around there so water makes it through this sorting system, comes down here, makes it past the T-junction that totally wasn't trying to dump all the water down on the floor as well. Uh, they come down here, jump over into my uh, polluted water from the toilet, gets sieved out, adds back into the actual water. Okay, great. That's, that's good. We're, we're now actually producing water. That's rare. I, I didn't think we were going to do that. And finally, finally, we can plant the arbor acorns. Oh man, this 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 was a long process. This took over an hour just to get the acorns in and down. Uh, oh, I can't plant because of the critter drop off. That makes sense. Maybe we'll just make do with five plants? I think we should be able to make do with five plants. Whilst we watch a little bit of footage of me doing something that I don't do very often, I'm playing in a sandbox world and trying to figure out the ideal layout for the ethanol distilleries. I would like to take the time for this footage to thank the people that take me one step closer to living my ideal life. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible. This really is one component of my ideal life and it is thanks to you guys that I can actually get round to doing this from the very, very bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you so much. And here is that design. I decided to move the pips out of the arbitrary growing area because, of course, the grub grubs here, uh, they will go ahead. Oh, all these are ready for harvest. I can't show you. All, all these will come along and uh, rub these plants. Where, where, here we go. Grub rub over here. And speed up its growth by 50%. Like that, That's a one and a half times the growth speed. I cannot argue with that. Uh, here comes Rutherford. Hopefully to... You know what? I'm just going to do this quick. Rutherford, come and, come and harvest some branches we'll turn that back down when he has done so but the branches get picked up by this auto sweeper they then get dropped into this conveyor loader which will go along and feed it down into the conveyor receptacle down below that conveyor receptacle is accessed by this auto sweeper which can reach all of the ethanol distilleries all of these ethanol distilleries of course will then produce a bunch of ethanol this will run down towards the petroleum generator in the background here this produces is power which is kind of like one of the main things we're after uh, it also produces that's the wrong button this button here a bit of carbon dioxide which gets eaten by both of these carbon skimmers unfortunately one doesn't quite keep up with the petroleum generator we needed two of them and then this liquid pump down below of course feeding the uh, the polluted water into the system it's really nice as it goes oh and of course this last auto sweep here picking up the polluted dirt to put 
put it into the composters. Two composters, not enough. Uh, we'll, we'll probably need more. But actually, honestly, I feel like we can do more with our polluted dirt than just put it into composting here. Uh, I particularly would like more arbor trees to get harvested and then more grub rubs to happen and just like uh, a, a constant supply of materials to be happening here. Uh, I don't know whether we've got enough trees to be able to supply the four ethanol distilleries. I think we actually needed seven and I've only got six. So maybe the grub rub will help. Maybe maybe that will be the thing that makes this work. Uh, but until that can happen, you know what? I think I'm just going to be like, hey, can we just for the moment harvest all these trees at a pretty high priority? And let's see what happens when this is full of stuff. Okay, so we've now pretty much filled the conveyor receptacle. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good. Uh, this sweeper cannot continue putting into this conveyor loader, but thankfully Rutherford going along uh, doing all of the other sweeps. At what point does this one reach that bit of lumber there? Is that is that going to be a thing that can happen? I think we've got the industrial ingredient lumber ready to go. Oh, it's because Kelvin wanted to come along and pick it up. Okay, that that's a thing I suppose and now the reason we have four is this was supposed to be able to keep the petroleum generator running constantly but it feels like it's just a little bit off of running absolutely co oh wait I think I think we're there I think we've done it here we go we've got a constantly running petroleum generator all right hype that's that is amazing and massive uh, is this a power system down here somewhere around here we need to fit a battery onto this regular heavy watt line so that we can know whether we need to carry on burning or not I know at the moment if we come all the way over here yeah we, we are we are out of power also wow look at the carbon dioxide and what temperature are we at 60 degrees up here so with like it could it could be worse it could be very much worse but this is coming along to try and pick up the slack uh, and you may have noticed that I've emptied this entire area up here moved the coal generator over to one side uh, and indeed I've actually gone ahead and moved a whole bunch of materials around here I want to move that one up that one down uh, and I'm gonna put a little cut in the line right there okay so that should give us just a little bit wider in the cooling line for the moment uh, I think what I actually want to do is to send this on that route and cut this here uh, and that should then I mean we're probably gonna end up with a little bit of extra water in the pipe but it frees up this space for us to be able to start working on the bit that's actually gonna generate us some power if we come over to Irigao is of course the uh, cr Saturn Critter trap there get those words right at the very top here I think I think this should be the next thing that we try to make of course the fact that we've only got three of these seeds out and about somewhere. I don't think it's those three. I, th I think they're down here somewhere. Uh, we will, of course, ask for them to be added to this interplanetary launcher. There we go, Saturn Critter Seed. No one, no one's come to deliver that. That's interesting. Let's, let's make that a serious thing. Uh, also, we are on the point where we're starting to uh, vacuum this area out. I noticed there's bleach stone, though, so I need to get that um, picked up before the bleach stone can be used. We're down to just mere grams in here, and waiting for the uh, the power line to be up and running. That's what I was doing over here on uh, Irrigal. Not not the lumber. Not the lumber. That's what I was doing over here on Irrigal whilst I was waiting for the the whole system to be built on reverse lid. Is anybody actually gonna move the stuff over here, Chandra? What what are you doing? What have you got? You got fossils. You got fossil. What what is this? Okay, there's the three seeds in there. We'll just wait for this to be up and running. It just needs to be filled with enough fossil because uh, it's got the rad bolts it needs to send. And indeed, is this the amount of fossil we need? I think this might be it. Let's let, let's hold on for two seconds and see whether we get a launch here. This uh, amount of fossil just needs to go up enough to be able to go. Uh, ooh, there we go. The whole thing just got launched. Okay, that that's that's great. Brilliant radical one might say uh, and over here this guy with the okay we're, we're good we need to go back to reverse lid and start working on this top section next so the cooling has started but the big problem we've got right here is we just do not breathe enough oxygen i need to get some hydrogen out of this system here and we've only got 800 grams per tile at the top if i drop the uh, the pressure too low the oxygen will spill up and over these uh, these doors here causing us some troubles so somehow i need to evacuate a whole bunch of oxygen out of the line 
Okay, unfortunate timing, but we are starting to get the uh, the hydrogen out of here. It took a long time. I, again, I've lost track of the number of cycles it's been, but it's been like 20, 30 cycles, something like that, where we've been trying to cool this place down. I'm also in the middle of a little bit of a rewiring here to hopefully try and make the, uh, the, the building of our hydrogen power plant a little bit simpler. If we could just drop a few across here, we might not even need to destroy these, actually. Let's keep those where they are. Uh, and uh, grab this. I just want to drop one. Oh, I, I was going to drop a few, but I, I was going to go. I'm going to drop one, two, three. But actually, you know what? It's only let me drop one. Uh, so I guess we're out of some materials somewhere along the line. A little bit unfortunate, but not nothing we cannot surmount. And uh, definitely just waiting for this to be uh, just, just connected up to, together. And then it should start producing enough power to get going again. Okay, these two hydrogen generators are now the first thing that comes on on the system. The low threshold is the highest, and they seem to be able to hold back. Let's go and make sure this isn't running. Okay, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna break the bonds. Temporary solution was actually temporary. Let's let's try and keep it that way because I think now that we've got some petroleum ticking over, which incidentally I'm gonna have to redo this. I forgot that these guys also put out a bunch of carbon dioxide. It's not the end of the world because of course petroleum generator does stop running occasionally. Uh, as you can see, it comes on after these hydrogen generators and turns off before them as well. So hopefully the water can just keep on cleaning from here. Why 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 is there no Let's try start this. Let's see if we can let some water in there. That's that's not going to do it, is it? Okay. Oh, this doesn't have any sand, so it ran out of water, and the overflow took it all. Okay, I, I see now. Not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. That's because we're out of sand. Okay, let, let's try and make some sand, and then we'll... Oh, man, that, I can't believe that. That's the only thing. Uh, shine nymph eggs. That's uh, good radiation for when you can't make it. Okay, small crisis averted there. Uh, so, yeah, we've got ethanol being made. It's being turned into power. We've got hydrogen being made. It's being turned into power, and we've managed to separate ourselves... What well, what have I got to turn all the way up here? Let's turn that back down. We've managed to separate ourselves from the dependence on Pyaxlin. So with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to probably deal with the carbon dioxide aftermath. Uh, but also, we're on our way back to Irrigal, of course, to get this uh, research reactor up and running. Uh, we uh, need some materials to throw down here and uh, one of the things I've noticed over time is we've actually been cooking some plastic so we have the naphtha to send over there and I'll see you then when we're gonna do that. Bye.